It's Glenn and James from An American Couple, and we are at Aquatica today. Yeah. <laughs> Not a small town, but should be fun. So it's fall in Florida, and kids are back in school, so the lines are... Really new. Yeah, there's, we, we actually came after... <laughs> small lines. Yeah, we actually came after 1 o'clock. They close at 5, so we have four hours. But there's hardly anybody here, so it looks good to us. Twenty bucks to rent a locker. Twenty bucks just to rent a small locker. Okay. Underneath. Underneath. Oh, underneath. Well, you're, okay. you're not optically I am challenged. Totally without my glasses. <laughs> fifteen thirty. Where in the world is fifteen thirty? Fifteen thirty. You know this is great. It's so dark in here without our glasses on. We can't. We can't see the numbers on the lock. That was well worth it. I want to try that again. Ah. So we asked one of the workers here, hey, where's one of the coolest things to do that's open today? And he says, oh, you need to go to the, uh, the trap door slide. We get in and the bottom falls out. And I look again, I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to another tube ride or something. Dun, 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 dun. So this thing is like as big as the MG Midget, and the two of us have to carry it up like three flights of stairs. Sometimes rides look pretty long, but this one, because of the size of the tube, might trick you because it doesn't take very much time at all, even if there's people in front of you. It moves a lot faster than you think. Yeah. Okay folks, this ride actually has a scale before you can get on it, and they have a handy dandy employee here that tells you actually where you sit before you go to make sure your tubes are balanced out. By the way, this guy's got cool hair. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Holy moly! I didn't like being backwards on that at all. <laughs> They got these cool misters down here that wet your feet. Keep your feet cool. Aquatica has a lot of shade in all of the rides. So if you want to get off of the asphalt, there's always a great place to hide in the shade. The children's play area is loaded with all kinds of fun things to do and is no more than 10 inches deep and well supervised by the park staff. If the big slides aren't your thing, they even have a kiddie pool for the small kids. The waterfront has a nice sandy beach. So when is the best time to actually come to Aquatica? I think it's October. I agree. It is still warm enough outside to enjoy being outside. Yep. It's about 85 today. Yep, may rain. And the crowds are hardly any. It's wonderful. You don't have to wait in line hardly for anything. And it's, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, most of the students are back in school. Most of the tourists are gone for the summer, so the park's at a limited capacity, so you don't, like Jane said, you don't have to wait in line very much. Makes it kind of nice. So this isn't really the lazy river at all. This is like the all butt river. It like drags you through. It's not too much of just relaxing and sitting, it like drags you through. <laughs> I feel like I'm running. Here, try to put your feet like in front of you and just slide. Just slide. 
It's like your skin. It's like your skin. Hang on to the rope. Discovery Cove has a lazy river. This is not a lazy river. It's not ready to take gain. There she goes. <laughs> yeah, it's got some parts where the current, you can put your feet flat on the bottom and just slide along like you're skiing. Okay, the rapid river really is rapid. Um, it's great fun, but something to note is they have no inner tubes here. They only have life vests, so if you are not a strong swimmer, you might want to wear a life vest on this one. But um, it's really it's great fun. It's taking me. There it goes. I'm going. There it goes. There are restaurants and small tiki bars scattered all over the park. Have a good time? Something to consider if you have bad knees or you don't like steps, then Aquatica may not be exactly for you. Every ride has lots of steps. <laughs> well, it's not exactly the waves of the ocean, but. Well, I it's just sitting right here. 15:30. You know this is great. It's so dark in here without our glasses on. We can't. We can't see the numbers on the lockers. So. I really had a good time at Aquatica. I loved it. Yeah, overall, it's it's been a lot of fun. I, I'll be honest with you. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be. Okay. It's not a really big park. No. Which, I mean, that's not a pro or a con. It's just that I thought it was a little bit larger than it it's would be. It's not as spread out as you would expect. No, it's pretty compact. Yeah, it's pretty compact. But it's clean, which I really liked. Yeah. Um, everything was clean about it. And the, the staff was really nice. No um, important guy coming through. So I think overall, I would definitely say give this park a really good rating. The walk from your car to the actual entrance to the park itself was really short. The parking lot kind of wraps around the front side of the park. So it's only about a two, maybe three minute walk from where we parked and we didn't park up close either. So it's not a big long walk. So it's, you don't have to lug a lot of stuff. They do search everything that you bring into the park. Um, they wand you. Um, it's almost like going through TSA, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they had made me pull the batteries out of my pocket for my GoPro. So, yeah. so well, I mean, um, just things to be aware of, obviously. You're not gonna sneak much in this park, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very safe place. Yeah, I think the two thumbs up from the American couple is probably pretty good for us. <laughs>